Right, and today's video is what I've learned from self-publishing my first book. So this video is also a follow-up to previous week's video where I premiered this lovely limited edition photo album Unfolded 1. So today I'm packing all this, right? I'm not painting, surprise, surprise. If you haven't watched the previous video, what happened was I was supposed to release this book end of the last year, end of 2021, just in time for Christmas. However, there was a problem with the printers. Okay, so these are the 50 copies of the album, limited edition. Is the top view working here? Yeah. So this is the final version of the book. The second batch I got, which is printed correctly and beautifully as intended. But let me show you what was the major mistake that prevented me from releasing this book earlier uh, at the end of 2021. Over here, you can see the first batch of the uh, older and you can clearly see by the way of comparison here looking at the cover able mark volume one unfolded unfolded volume one and this is trimmed and correctly it arrived the first beginning of december and i had everything planned just for the release within days just to make it for Christmas. So as you can see, they trimmed the cover badly, right? So in the wrong place, what is it? Like two centimeters. Uh, thankfully, throughout the book, the whole print is correct. So all the trims are correct. And you can tell by the dates you can see here how much they trimmed off. You can't tell it by photos if you don't know it, but by the date you can tell it's all wrong. The back cover is fine, so it only happened on the front cover and the inside of the back cover. As you know, I pay attention to my artwork. As an artist, I believe that you should care for your artwork more than it's necessary because if you are not your own biggest fan, how can you deliver quality products to your supporters, right? So for me, it was a no-no, especially it's such a blatant, blatant mistake on the front cover. I couldn't, I, I just couldn't have it, right? Right, so many copies to pack. However, it's a good problem to have. I am really grateful for all your orders. And uh, yeah, today I'll be packing a lot. Also today what I'm doing is I'm filming packing order video, which is a vertical video for uh, YouTube shorts, Instagram stories and TikToks. So, so if you don't follow me on any of these platforms, please make sure you do not to miss out. And to the meat of the video, what I've learned. So what was the mistake here? And what can you do so that you can avoid it when you self-publishing a book? Normally, I have a printer I always go to, but they couldn't offer me landscape A4 format with 48 pages. So what I did, I found a new printer. The quality team at the end went through it and approved it. So the major thing I want you to learn from my mistake and is that always, always require a printed copy to approve uh, for your project. This was only an order of 50 
books. So I got the whole box of these, right? What if I have ordered, you know, 200, 300? This angle is very interesting. It's like CCTV camera, isn't it? Anyhow, something different for the video. I think I gave them benefit of the doubt and I shouldn't have. And then when I was on the phone with customer service, they admitted their mistake and said, yes, that was their mistake and so on and so forth. So they reprinted the whole order for me with no additional cost. However, I missed the deadline. I don't know what this view is, but anyway, um, this video needs to be out in a few hours. Right, the second thing I've learned from self-publishing book, give yourself enough time so that you can review the printer's proof before your scheduled premiere publication of your book. If I had given myself more time, um, you know, I would have avoided all the stress of having moving the premiere and just messing up my, you know, yearly kind of release schedule. So next year, when volume two drops, I'll be actually releasing it in January, not December, because December is busy as it is. Now to packing. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, precise, concise, just comment down below if you have any advice on printing your own uh, books. Uh, share with the community, share with me. Thank you for watching and check out my other videos of me actually painting or talking about painting or talking about the videography aspect of filming, graffiti, origami. And that's that. Yeah. I wonder if I've done it under five minutes. Huh. Okay, some night. <clears throat> like this, I'm sad. What the fuck?